know, did I answer the budget questions? Well enough, <clears throat> couple, couple of quick questions. Obviously, we're discussing our budget tonight. We know what we've got proposed for next year. I would assume that you've got any of very little increase in your budget next year. We took a we took a three hundred and sixty seven thousand cut in our budget this year, so could, and we're trying to stay. We hope to flatten to if we can keep that recovered. That's what we're hoping to do. So, I, My I, staff is getting no raises. We're you know no. Um, intimate domain, as far as you know, in the history of being involved with the Johnson County Library, has it ever been used? No, I don't even know that it's been discussed in my 22 years. It's not so, been, okay. in terms of a feasible way to go after yeah. a piece of property. I have a couple quick questions. Sure. I can maybe see the idea of, the, of a library, but in 90,000 square foot, the, the size is what boggles me, and I've talked to a lot of people, and that is a real sticking and that, point. And, and that also, is, wait, my other I'm one sorry. is. Why can't we add on to the one we've got? It's parking. Is that what the issue is? You're saying no, you can't make a parking lot or something? It, well, that's part of it. Part of it is also we've had two separate architectural firms come in, take a look at the building, look at its structure. It is basically a national home library, just some trusses sitting on it on a, a concrete slab. Um, the designs that they've shown us are not feasible in terms of working unless we tear down the current facility and we felt like that was not a reasonable decision to make that um, you know again that as you know it's a very odd shaped piece of property uh, early on the first architects I mean I'll go back to when the building was designed and the board was told it could be added on uh, that same firm came in and started looking at it and said hmm maybe not not as easily as we thought I mean there's no going up you go out a little bit, and then of course we do have the parking issues, but we have parking issues already. Um, we then convened that group that I shared you the report with, and they looked at all these reports that the architects, we actually had both of them come in, show the drawings, and their comment was, this isn't feasible to stay at this site. It's feasible to look elsewhere. And that's when we formed the site committee that started looking at eight sites around the around the city. I mean, as, as Mr. Wells pointed out, we have a 10-year plan, and it was to try to do Franklin Trafalgar together. We decided it was more feasible to do Trafalgar. We're now looking at Franklin. We hope to look at the White River Library. Eventually, we hope to look at the Clark Plaza location. Down the road, we think Barbersville will be the next one. But that's our, you know, our long-term vision. Um, when, when we use that 90,000 square feet, that came, out of a, that came out of a program, a needs assessment, that was both for the library and for library central services, which includes the, the, the adult learning center, all of our HR, all of our processing. We have since started to do a lot of our processing as an outsourced service to try to cut down on staff, to try to cut down on turnaround time, get materials in the hands of people faster. So that's why we're saying the study is needed. Now the cost of it is around, I mean, we've been told to estimate around 400,000. We've also been told it'll cost $75,000 to sell the bonds, just what you have to pay in the insurance, what you have in the, the underwriter's fee. That's the same cost whether we do 500,000 or we do 2 million. So our, I mean, again, the board is not, you know, we're asking for your approval of this so we can go ahead to start making a decision tomorrow. But I know that, it, in my mind, simple as it may be, that spending $75,000 twice to do what is now planned, and that is simply to start looking for a site and to do the planning, that doesn't seem wise use of taxpayers' dollars. I was walking this morning, and there were three gentlemen looking at the old library. Um, they look like they're assessing something. That was your roofing contractors. We're actually, guys we actually have a roof that, that had to be repaired so it didn't cave in on us because we found out that we were shorted. We, the, um, the contractor didn't use the right kind of decking, and so we're over there um, trying to alleviate a massive issue that we have with the roof. And so I'm, I'm assuming that's what it was, and I'm not I saw sure. I there on the north corner. Oh, they were in front of them. Yeah, yeah they were in the corner. I saw 
And that, again, is trying to look long term. I mean, if we want a building that's viable for use by some other entity, we want to have some value in it. We didn't have a choice. We have a library capital projects plan. This stuff has been in that plan. It's been out there advertised in the newspaper before city council, before our board. People have had an opportunity to come and see what we're doing. Um, I always say you get, a, you get a project like this going and that's when people start wanting to know more. And we have heard, as I told Mike earlier, I've heard the, the point, we'll try to get more on our website, we will try to get these documents that we share before these boards so that people can take a look at them. I do have copies with me tonight. I'm happy to hand them out. So. How many square feet do you currently have in the library building itself and whatever? ancillary buildings and offices for Franklin mm -hmm. uh, we have public space the the building at Franklin is 21 5 our little building over here is around 7 so that's 28,000 square feet um, we have an outside you know a storage facility that that is used um, for a lot of things would be it's computers types of things that would be safe I kind of hate to say that in public but things that would be safer if it was under one roof and then we have a little microwave building that we're using and I'm sorry Steve I don't know the square footage of that that's used by our friends for the recycling of their materials that one literally is also it's going to have to come down so those are some of the services we're looking to put into the new again you know depending on the site we may not have to move the current administrative offices and they could stay at the location they're at curious and this really isn't germane to the discussion at hand but a couple of comments you you just made uh, I, I'm curious as to why a young mother in Franklin would, would think our library is unclean Can you address that it worn out when we started talking further I said you mean that you think we're not doing a good job keeping it clean and she said no it's just worn out and I said, well, that's just 22 years of, of constant use and, and accelerated use. I mean, I'm working on the numbers now compare, you know, sometimes does it make sense to go back and compare over 20 years? Well, it does to see a pattern. And since the day that libraries open, we've seen increases year after year after year in its usage. So, you know, I mean, again, it's five years ago, we made the decision not to put in new carpeting, not to put in new furnishings, not to bring in, um, Prefabricators for some of our desks. That's what she was talking about. And the more I talked to her, and I'm sorry, thank you for clarifying that because I should have made that clarification myself. Second comment. You, you say you have a major structural problem with the building. The roof. And we're, and, and, we're, and we're taking care of that right now. And this was done by a contractor? Yes. How long? 22 years ago. Mayor. Yes, uh, when I heard about this, I had some real questions. But the more I think about it, I think what's happening now should have happened 22 years ago. I think they're linked into the future far enough that we don't have to go through this again in another 20 years. And I, I support what they're doing. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll close, we'll close, yeah, we'll close public comment. I move you read the, the uh, resolution for title only, Mayor. Okay. A motion to read, uh, which still which still leaves open for discussion, uh, Franklin Common Council resolution regarding Johnson County Public Library. A uh, motion on the floor, requiring a second. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and then it takes it to the next step. Motion carries. Franklin Common Council resolution regarding Johnson County Public Library general obligation bonds. 